This is the Sawtooth Mountains. Enjoying your river view. This is it. This is the life. This is the life, huh? This is the life. My God, this is awesome. Idaho. Idaho's a jam, dude. There's something special. Our Idaho road trip started in the Boise National Forest as we made our way to the Sawtooth Mountains. Hi. Hi, sweet kitty. We got settled into our RV campsite and quickly made our way to one of Idaho's incredible hot springs. Idaho is home to more hot springs than any other state in the entire country, and our plan this week is to explore as many of them as possible. amazing there's like loads of different hot pools that just flow down the side of the mountain into the river the first one here is looking very glorious and the temperature is not too hot I did hear some of the hot pools here in Idaho or the hot springs can get up to like 112 degrees so that is obviously too warm to be soaking it's already hot out right now so I don't think I'm quite ready to jump into a hot spring we'll go down the river and explore some more first but this is amazing and it's only a 10 minute walk from our campground, which is Primo. awesome. Yeah. And we waited till later in the day to come as well, which I think has been nice because we've seen loads of people leaving, heading back to their cars. So hopefully we beat the crowds. Waterfall flowing. This is wonderful. Do you want to get our lavender apple cider from Door County that we Yeah, bro. Let's do it. That pool was lovely. It gets really hot. Dennis's body is like half red right now. Ooh, it is quite cold. It's so cold. <laughs> oh my Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I'm just going. I'm just going, I'm just going. She made it, ladies and gentlemen. She made it. This is the life. I'm telling you what. I'm just hanging out in a hot spring. Our home is 10 minute walk away. Our kitties are waiting for us. All of our food, all of our things. I wish every place had hot springs like this. Yeah. Mmm, mmm. Making some ramen. I'm gonna blanch the bok choy, roast the Brussels sprouts for some crunchiness. I'll probably saute the mushrooms as well. We have this black garlic and sesame oil, and it has like a super yum flavor. It's very Asian inspired, so it would go nicely with this. I don't do the traditional ramen noodle because it's wheat and spikes your glucose, so I use a cognac, gluten free one. Healthy and chiz. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Something we haven't really shown on the vlog is, and maybe you can see it right now, Sweet Pea has been dealing with some stress and she's over grooming herself and licking all the hair off of her abdomen, which is not cool. So that Sweet Pea. don't love bok choy, but I know it's good for you, so I try and throw it in there. All right, and the Brussels sprouts. Look at Brussels this. sprouts. Hold on. We ain't got sesame seeds. I'm not eating this. I don't blame you. I refuse. I know. Let's eat. Ooh, this is beautiful. Just the goods? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. Very good. The only thing that makes it better ramen noodles. <laughs> I cannot wait to go soak 
these springs are even prettier than the last, I think. They're just so different. Oh, it looks so lush. I mean, you're the only people here. Bum, 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 oh, bum. no. Dang it. We're walking. I don't care. I'm going to this, baby. Yep. Let's do it. It looks so hot. Oh my God, look at that pool. Oh my god, I'm in love with Idaho. I want every day to include a hot spring while we're here. Okay. I think it's accomplishable. We found the perfect spot right next to the river. It's not too hot, not too cold, it's like the Goldilocks zone. Just enough river water washing in to keep it at a probably like 100. 102 -ish. Yeah, it's still really, really warm. Yeah, oh, look at that, it's a peregrine falcon. <gasps> oh, cool. Dope, dude. This is just so, so, so lovely. A hot spring a day keeps the bad vibes away. I'm like zenned out. I think it's the hot springs. I'm just feeling all calm and relaxed. I don't want to do anything right now. And all I've done today is eat food and go to a hot spring. And now we're about to go to more hot springs. Uh, let's do it. Hot springs. Oh. Is it that hot for real? Like, almost boil egg hot. Whoa. I almost, I feel like I just annihilated my toe. No way, really? You scalded your toe? Yes. <laughs> Whoa, this is hot. So you're gonna have to do the ones by the river. I cannot believe how hot it is. Ooh, yeah, that's real hot. Like, you don't want to stay in there any longer than a second. Wow. See, aren't you glad you didn't move now? Oh, no, she's like, I still want to get out of here. It's okay. Having a blast. <laughs> that looks miserable. That does look miserable. The storm is blowing through and it is crazy. Yeah. We made it to Stanley, which is a very small town, but they call it the gateway to the Sawtooth Mountains. But we really just came because we needed service. There is no cell service in the Sawtooth Mountains. So we decided to go to the Stanley Supper Club. We had no idea how charming it would be. And after a beer and a little bit of work, we caved and decided to grab dinner there. Their menu features homemade food from locally sourced ingredients, and it was absolutely fantastic. Oh boy. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. drops quick at night. I think tonight's gonna get down to 30 degrees. This cold weather is making it feel like fall. To stay warm, I am putting a kettle on and I am cozying up with my absolute favorite superfood nighttime tea from Organifi, their seasonal limited release gold pumpkin spice. This seasonal superfood blend satisfies my fall cravings, having just a subtle hint of pumpkin and a little bit of spice. I love adding a splash of frothed hazelnut milk to make it feel like a pumpkin spice latte. It's seriously so good. Like all of Organifi's amazing superfood blends, it's made with super high quality, 100% plant-based organic ingredients with no fake flavors and no fillers. Gold Pumpkin Spice is a blend of 12 different superfoods. Things like ginger, turmeric, reishi, and turkey tail mushroom, as well as lemon balm, which helps reduce bloating and fight inflammation boosts your immunity, and it helps you rest and sleep better. Plus, it has zero sugars, making it a perfect nighttime guilt-free treat, and it's a great replacement for other sugary pumpkin-flavored drinks. The seasonal blend is a limited release, and it's also one of their top-selling superfood blends. So if you're looking for a little bit of pumpkin spice this fall, make sure to grab yours right now using the link in the video description below, and make sure to use code ESRV to get 20% off your order. 
I've already bought two. Happy fall. What you doing, sweet pea? Slippery. Oh my god, this is challenging. I do not think we picked the best crossing point. No, I don't think so either. I will say this is a very hot, hot spring and it took a lot of effort to get here, <laughs> but it's lovely and we're the only ones here. We just have to find the right pool. <laughs> I need more heat, I need more heat. Oh, it's such a weird sensation to have like, oh, see now I'm getting a lot of heat, but over here from the river, it's cold, it's wild. You can see the water mixing right in front of your eyes. It's pretty cool. It's natural hot springs for you. We ended up camping last night about 15 minutes from Stanley. There's loads of campgrounds all over to choose from. Most of them are first come first serve, so we haven't run into any issues with needing reservations. There's also loads of boondocking in the area. But what we really like about the campgrounds is most of them are next to hot springs. Some are popular and pretty easy to find. Others are hidden gems like this one. But we are not gonna tell you exactly where we are because it's kind of a conflict we're running into. Everyone we've spoken to that's been locals here, that's seen our camera has gone like, you're not gonna tell the world about this, right? Like, we want to share all of these beautiful places with you and encourage you to visit them yourself, of course, responsibly and respectfully. But sharing the exact locations of these places on a worldwide platform like YouTube can change it. We know that we, even as small as our channel may be, have an impact on that and we struggle with that. So if you are gonna come to the Sawtooth Mountains, I encourage you to do your research, talk with locals because they will tell you a lot of the great spots. So we hope you understand. And if you don't understand, you're the reason we are not sharing this location. <laughs> Woo, I just got a hot, 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 hot. We won't be here too long. <laughs> Ouch. The views here are epic. The views here are fantastic. We're switching camping spots again. This time we're going to a boondocking spot, which is exciting. We haven't truly boondocked like off grid in the middle of the woods in quite a while. We have been unplugged and not have hookups, but we've always been at established campgrounds. So this will be our, our first time in a while. I think we found a really beautiful spot, but now we have to get level. How's getting level going? It's not. I'm just staring at the ground, really. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I think I'm maybe turn it around and back it in right here. Okay, we might have a better try. chance. Let's try it. Let's try it. That looks really unlevel. This feels doable. Yeah, I agree. Even with all that, we still have to put leveling blocks under the tires. It's gonna be worth it though. This view is epic and there is no one around. Look at that. We get it all to ourselves. I will admit, I probably will have to hop on and off the blocks a couple times to get it perfect, but it's really close. You're also a perfectionist. It's tricky trying to keep the front and rear level. Mm. But you're right, I am a perfectionist. That's why you married me. <laughs> Is it? Going good. Really high in the back, I can feel it already. I'm not even gonna check the level, I'm just gonna back it off. Good. We're good side to side, because I actually, overcompensate for the slide when the slide goes out that side will sag and it'll be level but we're high in the back now keep going good look at that it's perfect overcompensated for the slide bang in the middle front to back all right we did it send that slide out baby send that slide send out actually is any of that stuff gonna get crushed We got so excited in filming that we forgot to move our stuff. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Move this over here. Get set up. We got all the space. You guys want to go out? It's just patiently waiting by the door with their collars on to go outside. I'm finishing cooking and I'll take them outside. You want to go outside, buddy? 
Yeah? All right, enough torture. Let's go. Whoa, <laughs> he's on a mission. He is on a mission. Come on, Princess. Oh, well, he's trying to try to get out of the leash. No, he just says, you better start walking. They leave you, sweet pea. Hmm. And they leave you. Girl, sweet pea. Come on. Sweet pea usually doesn't stray far from the step. You like staying close to home? But Oliver, on the other hand, likes to venture really far away from the house. <laughs> He's... <laughs> He's on a mission. Wow. Oh, yes. Beach. Yeah, this is quite magnificent. This is funny. We had heard Redfish Lake was something special. We came yesterday just to check it out, but it was like about to rain. It actually did drizzle for just a little bit, which is great for the fire that's south of here. But today the sun is out, the smoke is gone, there's not a cloud in the sky, and it is breathtaking. A little gusty though. Yes, it is quite windy. But oh, man, this is like a little Lake Tahoe. Honestly, the water is crystal clear and it goes through like a bunch of different shades of clear to green to the teal and then this deep blue and there's mountains in the background. Oh my gosh. We came right next to the Redfish Lake Lodge and there's a campground over here. This is where we should have been camping. Beach access, hello. You can take a boat or a ferry all the way across the lake if you'd like and it can cut down on your hiking time and just give you access to some harder to reach trails in the backcountry area. But I don't know that we're up for it. Our morning did not go to plan. We've also just been dealing with like a lot of big changes and things happening in our lives. And I feel like both of us are just not quite emotionally or physically ready for a hike. Like, I just want to go to another hot spring or just lay down on the beach and just do nothing. That's how much energy I have right now. Here are my requirements for a perfect day. The sunshine and the feeling and sound of water in some form or fashion. Like right now, I love that I can feel the waves and hear it splashing. That's all I need. It's not much in life. This is all I need. Oh, there's an eagle. It's our second eagle we've seen here. But anyways, we can't camp here. <laughs> Bad news bears for motorhome or trailer owners. The sign says it's for like trek campers, tents, and vans only. Even though we fit here perfectly. We're technically van lifers. It's a Mercedes I mean, Sprinter. I mean, come pretty on. much. Let's be real here. <laughs> Fully self contained. We're tiny. Yeah. This is my kind of waiting room. <laughs> we are waiting to go into one of the most iconic hot springs near the city of Stanley. It's very small, it can only fit about two, max three people. So if you figure out where we're at, and you're coming here and you already see two cars, keep going, you'll have to come back another time because it is a small space and it's right off the side of the road so there's not a lot of parking. I would suggest coming early or coming very late, trying to avoid peak hours. We're here waiting our turn, patiently and excitedly. We had a little bit of wine that we're enjoying right by the river, I'm not mad. You guys can come up here now. Hey, thank oh, you. Shit. Oh my gosh. This has to be the coolest hot spring we've ever visited. This is heaven. I see why everyone loves Idaho. And I see why everyone wants to keep this place secret. I'm sitting in a cauldron surrounded by nothing but nature. You can adjust the temperature of the cauldron by letting out cold water from the tap down below, and you can add more hot water from the tube. We like ours like piping hot, so we're adding more hot water. We are very lucky to get to call this our lives. Yeah, we are very blessed, I will say that for sure. And I hope that you watching, if this is something you've ever wanted to do, figure out a way. But we knew we wanted to travel full time and be able to experience this, not just on little getaways. And it took a lot of work and it took years to come to fruition. But it came to fruition because we worked for it. So if this is something you want, do it. Figure it out, make the leap, 
make the changes as hard as it may be, this could be your reality. Yeah. Enjoying your river view? I hate to say it, but all this smoke is our cue to be leaving. We knew that the fire down close to Ketchum was getting pretty bad. Another local guy that we were talking to at the dump station the other day said that Idaho had 16 new fires because of the storms coming through with the cold front that we are now feeling. And we woke up this morning and it's super smoky. We can't even see the peaks of the Sawtooth Mountains. So we were planning on leaving, but now it's solidified. It's time to go. We're gonna hit one or two more hot springs on the way out. As always, we wanna say thank you for traveling with us and we'll see you next week. Yeah, we brought our apple cider lavender. Apple cider lavender? Lavender, lavender apple, cider? apple cider. I don't even know how this happened, but it did. Where did these go? The bathing bird. Bathing bird? You're talking like me now. Mm, bathing bird you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yeah. That's about the morning we've been having. <laughs>